What is up my crazy Virginians and it's Vertico you can call me V and welcome back to Parkasaurus. It's magical what a bit of sleep can do for you. I say a bit of sleep, I slept from like 9am, no 9, 10pm until about 6am, I the half went to work, went back to bed, woke up at about 12.30. And now, I don't know if you can hear, I'm only a little bit, a little bit nasally, but I'm not sneezing and coughing every five minutes and I'm feeling a lot better, I'd say I'm about 90% better. Which is amazing, because today is the day of recording, and tomorrow is the day of recording, because I missed the day yesterday, but, yeah, look at this. Sleep is good for you people. Now, let's go ahead and speed things up, because we're waiting on getting a chance to get some pteropods. And we need cash. And we also need science, if I remember correctly. What was it we needed? I think it was science, because I've got the hearts. Oof, I've comfortably got those. We just need, was it 300 or 500 science? Refresh my brain. Don't click on it. 250? Oh, well then, we'll have that soon. We genuinely will. Let's go ahead and go to the portal. By the time we come out the portal, we should have enough, which means I won't send it back out for another dig, if I can remember. Hey, we got one from a port, um, from a five hit. Long last. And another one. Glorious. Now, if we go ahead and go here. Wait, no. Now these all suck. Damn it. Right, let's just do this. Boop. Boop. Ah, oh, Would have been perfect if we could have, wouldn't it? Oh, I didn't realise I hadn't actually got as many as I thought there. Great. So, we've still got this guy to really reveal stuff to us. Okay, there's one there. Didn't really want to do it like that, but the mouse moved. So, there we go. Right, we've actually got one there. One there. Uno there. There is also one underneath this bad boy. Is there one underneath this? So there is. Only one item left. We haven't got enough for it, but that's still pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Do we now have enough... I sent it straight back out. It's fortunate we don't have enough science and we're speeding things up, so it's all good. But we are going to get some theropods because none of our other islands have got them in yet. I think it's only fair. You see, I could be smart, and I could hold on for a little bit, and rather than having a Velociraptor, I could end up with an Albertosaurus or an Oviraptor. Oviraptor's probably a better bet, because look at that, it requires only 350. <laughs> Whereas if I went for a D-Rex or a Spino, we need 700 square feet, but we're not going that far up. I think we'll stick with the Velociraptor for now. It won't give me an uber amount of dino appeal, but... It's fine. I can also work on the other stuff while I wait, can't I? Such as, where is my lighting? Here it is. Let's give this some more love because it gets dark a bit too much around it, doesn't it? There we go. Giving this place some glorious light bulbs. Really helps with the park, you know? I put one in the middle, like here. Boom, look at that. And one, not over here. Much, much better. I know this doesn't have any light over here, to be fair, but hey, that's fixed. We will actually get light to the other areas when we eventually build them up. Like, did I just build it? I didn't build it like that. Thank the heavens. Right, it's 8.12, which means we've not got long left. So, if I really want to get my uh, dinos sorted, at the very least unlocked today, we're going to go ahead and start this dig. Or complete this dig, sorry. I've done this completely differently to how I usually would, but there's reasoning behind it. I forgot that how I usually do it. <laughs> That's sound reasoning. Leave me to it. Come on. Here we go. Oh, rip this mouse, man. Ugh. Never ever have a mouse that goes around the back of a desk, because it always pulls slightly, as you can hear from that clattering. Ugh. To be fair, it's not like we need these ornithopoda stuff. We've got more than enough, even for the bigger ones. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And go here. There's one here. Grab that, and then we have, oh, I believe we have, nope, over there. Let's see. Uh, we only have these guys left. Sorry, I got slightly distracted. My phone lit up like a Christmas tree for a second. I had notifications from three different apps coming at the same time. What time is it? Let me have a look at the time quickly in real life. It's 1.42, that's a really weird time to have those notifications, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> if it was like quarter to two, or if it was like, say, at three o'clock, or 
two o'clock. Someone's four. Times. Actual times. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that, that's fair. I get that. I can get the reasoning behind that. There's a bug on my shoulder. It's not a spider. It's fine. Yeah, don't get the reasoning behind that. It can be a bug, anything. But if it's a sp oh, I just sent it straight back out to so Ornithopoda. I'm awful at that, by the way. I get distracted slightly and boof. That happens. Anyway, we've now got Velociraptors uh, unlocked. But to be fair, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to get more chance to save up some more moolah. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these to dailies. That means we can start collecting them, which would be nice. What else was I going to do? Wait, wait, I was something else I was going to do. Wait, so that... Oh yeah, we're going to buy the gems. Because they need gems, if I'm correct. That's the hat stall. That's not what I want. I could get the spoopy spoopy scary scump scumpkin? Pumpkin, no thank you. Imperfect gems. I'm going to go ahead and get one, two, three, four. Oof, there goes a lot of our money, but we're going to get quite a bit back next day. And four is what I'm aiming for. It will give me a decent amount of dino appeal and so on and so forth. We've not sold any balloons yet. But quite frank, I don't want to end the mission. <laughs> I know I can, but let's, let's not do that until we have at least got a decent head start on this place. You know what I mean? Right, money, 3,000. There we go, we've made that money back, as I said. We just need that portal to hurry up. And then, well, we're just going to let the time pass. Now, how should we do that? Let's watch our parasols and grab our delivery because we don't want to make want to make sure they don't starve. Even though we are building up a nice little reserve for them. Look at them go. They are, to be fair, they are... The, the AI in this game is... You know, they do group together, but it's almost like they've got some form of early herding AI, and I like that. I would like to see them venture out a bit more, because I've made them this massive enclosure that they were demanding. And now they're like, eh, I'll have a view at it every now and then. Every now and then. It's like, guys, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> you need to go out there, please. <laughs> right, portal's arrived. Let's get rid of this portal as soon as possible. Let's put on normal speed. Let's not pause it. Go ahead and alley up, alley up, and alley up. Glorious. Right, okay. Well then, on that note, let's do that. Let's um get these guys then. I'm not going to waste that on either of these guys. Those are just simple clicks. Go ahead and get you. Let me see which side you are on. You're on that side. There's also one up here. That would be a kind of a waste though, wouldn't it? But... It's not like I have much opportunity to look elsewhere. There we go. Glorious. So if I go ahead and get these guys. Ones I can see. We may start to see other things revealed to us before long. Whether that's the case or not is a completely different thing. No. What about here? Hey, look at that. As if by magic. Come on. Show me what I'm looking for. Oh, that works. And here. Get rid of some of those so I can see. Button the bar. Who else have we got left then? Oh, what magic is that? It's got to be one like here, right? Damn it. That means we can't get whatever's left. That's fine. Okay. Not all of the poda. Therapoda. And then we'll go ahead and open the portal. Yeah. Now, we just need to wait for the portal so we can get some. I'm going to be aiming for the fossils like no one's business this time with utmost precision, you know? Have to be precise. We're dealing with getting our first set of theropods into any of our parks. That's important. I wanted to do it in this video because we've had two episodes of this, the Parasaurs, so... I'll get something started now. What do they need? Uh, Velociraptor. You require a desert. Freaking glorious. Well, and then. Let's go ahead and get you a uh, enclosure. I will get rid of this shortly. Don't worry. In fact, let's do that first. Let's go on to normal speed. Get rid of all the trees and stuff. And decorations, apparently. Which means I can get rid of those rocks, which is a noise. Uh, remove tiles? Yep. Yeah. That works. I know now we have some sand, some not sand, but it's cool. I can work with it. Right, because they need like 350. 
I need like 1400 at a minimum, but I'm going to make sure that we don't encroach to the right hand side so we can get another enclosure. But we are going to take some liberties when it comes to taking the most of this enclosure. Wait, can I get this the whole way across? Oh, thank lord. Right, what time is it? 5.25. Oh, that's nothing, is it? Okay. Tell me that works. Cool. Uber happy with that. At 12.7. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe not. Right, let's get rid of those fences. Portal's arrived. Great, let's pause the game. Okay. Portal has arrived, but first let's get rid of the fences on the left-hand side. We are going to go for a bit of an expansion. Perfect. Now, fence. Go. Because Actually, no, do they need 390? I can't remember, actually. Anyway. Come on. Make the most of it. Yes. Perfect. Look at this. Doing well. <laughs> right. This can go over here for a few more blocks. Then definitely. Wait, can I go how far? That far. But I won't. Ah, oh, that could have used so much more space right there in that corner. Okay, that should be more than enough. Remove fence. Thank you very much. Now we need to put some sand in here. Where's my sand? Where's my sand? There it is. Because some of this is sand, right? Yeah, it is. To be fair, I don't usually put it on the actual blocks, but as you can see, the sand is already there. Uh, on the fence blocks, but the sand is already there. Remind me, what did they need? Was it, a f was it in fact, a desert as it is? It was amazing. So we want to make sure this stays in the desert zone. So it's got a bit of elevation. It's not got any water currently. So we're going to want to uh, change that a bit. Oof, we can have quite a chunk more. I like that. There we go. That will be perfect. A little oasis in the center. Um, we'll give them, of course, some privacy tiles. So I'm going to just do a massive chunk over here. Break up the shape, of course. And do another little slither over here that goes like so. Perfect. You know what? I feel bad not having one over there as well. Doesn't quite feel right. And there we go. Almost looks like a continent view, doesn't it? <laughs> We have got enough room, just enough room, for a small enclosure with maybe one thing in it, like a good 700 feet enclosure for a Tyrannosaurus Rex, for example. Um, that is a handy dandy. Now then, you really do miss the rest of the park when you have to build in small enclosures. I've got to grant you that. Which is kind of why Abandon was amazing. Um, okay then. We need a fence on it, of course. We will need a carnivore feeder in it, of course. Where are we? Fantastic. We'll put it near the entrance so they don't have to venture in too long with those raptors. We don't want to lose any veterinarians. Heavens no, that would be awful. We need to give it some of the scenery stuff, but we haven't got any for the desert, I don't believe. Nope, nope. And oh, we've got rocks. How kind to give us rocks in a desert. I also haven't got this selected up, so I don't know how much I need. A lot. Fantastic. Let's give it a big... Oh, where's the big line of the pride one? There it is. It's not quite the one I was looking for, but it works. That's the one. We'll have that like that. I like that. Um, a big rock in the water. Helps break that apart. Some rocks in the grass. We'll go for some smaller ones now, like the broken up ones. Uh, no. Not quite perfect yet. Get in there. Can I put any on these mountains? I believe I can. Damn it, we still need a couple more. Right, well, let's break these mountains apart. Fantastic. Now then, while I'm here, let's see if I can unlock any sand-based stuff. I cannot, I'm two hearts off of that, but we'll have that tomorrow. We can then look towards getting the mud completed too, which will be pretty great. Um... That will be very much useful for when I do add others that require different stuff. Anyway, let's go to that portal. Yes, we are going to dig 
Let's get this cracker lacking. Oh, I missed the top, but that's fine. I'm gonna go like this now, because I can see we've exposed one there. Oh, we've got another thing. Grand. Right, so I'm gonna use the lines on that one there. I'm just gonna use, I shouldn't use the lines to be quite frank, but hey. Just gonna see if we've got anything hiding in the mitts. We do not. Don't have any more of you, don't know why I've collected you. Got one there, perfect. Nothing there, oof. Oh, one right there, that's brilliant. Another one there. Okay, so we can actually see that there is something underneath that, but for now, I'm gonna go for these guys. You'll understand the reasoning why. I'm just gonna do this quickly. That'll save me a bit of time with this one. There we go. I know that skulls are definitely more important because they're always a more of a nightmare to find. Go ahead and use the last bit on that one. Right, there we go. So we've got five more, which means I can get this guy, but that is it. Go straight back out. Yes, please. How many can I buy? Take your bets. For those that have counted, fair play. For those that haven't, two. Cool. I will take that. We can get two now, and we'll get two later. By the time these guys hatch, it'll be the next day more than likely, which means, of course, we will be very likely to see, um, well, an increase, basically. Um, in our food reserves for them. So, let's go ahead and build our footpath. Oh no. Do not like. Perfect. Right. No. This is no good. The footpath needs to be one more down. Ah, oh, dag, nam it. Right. Screw this. Got a better idea. Yeet. There we go. Then I can use my brain. <laughs> if we remember that the path has to go around it, that's great. We'll only go up to here though, because then it's going to start to get massy. Then we need to make sure that the thing is three blocks apart, so... Like so. Get rid of... You? Ah, oh, maybe not. Where's desert? <laughs> Sand. Thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. No, it is still footpaths. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait, what don't you like? Oh, the whole no cash thing that I completely ignored. Woof. That's a nasty surprise. Everyone was probably watching it go down piece by piece like, V, hey V buddy, you might want to look up where the cash is. And I'm like, well, it's fine. Oh, oh it's not fine. It, it is definitely not fine. We are now strapped for cash until the next day, to be fair. That's not too far off, and we are not going to end this video. If we have to end the video partway through another day, so be it. We're not ending the video without you guys getting to see these Velociraptors. And guess what, guys? We're going to start naming the dinosaurs again once we go back through to the first map um, of Toronto and try and build that up to five stars, or as close as we can, a decent high score. Uh, we'll leave it there and then move on to the next island. But on Toronto, we'll start naming them on people that are commenting on this series, uh, people that I know are quite active in the community. And other dinosaurs from other series, so we can have a bit of a crossover event going on, you know? Like Crisis on Infinite Verticos. It's all good. Or a Vertico Endgame? I don't know. Right, I need super speed. I need my raptors to hatch so I can get more cash. Right, where are we? A donation box there. And a donation box. Here. Perfect. Now, I've got enough money to buy the path. Whether I shouldn't yet. At least up to there. Wouldn't you agree? Just so we can have cash. <laughs> Don't know why I did it like that, but to be fair, I didn't try and select that area. Needing three. Perfect. Expeditions arrived. Amazing. We can now make two more of them. We're also going to keep super speed on so that we've actually got two of them hatched. Yes, it's not been uberly successful. Come on, I just need... Well, I need to be quite frank, I need two of each at least. Preferably, uh... 
Nope. A few more than that. Right, uh, we'll grab these all manually that I can see. That includes you, buddy boy. Right, and then you. Thank you. There we go. I think we need some more footprints in here. Come on. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the footprint. Oh, almost destroyed it there. Go. And there we go. We can get this one, and that is it. That's fine. There's only one more left. We will go back out um, so that we can start building up a theropod reserve, but we don't need to worry about that for now, though. Now we're going to go ahead and create two more of these guys, and boom, we have now got our final two velociraptors with our first two ready to hatch. So let's go ahead and hatch these cuties. Let's have a look what they look like. I haven't seen a Velociraptor in some time in this game. I don't know if they've changed. Oh no, I seem to remember him being this cute. I remember. <laughs> I remember how cute they are. Look at them. They're so small. Getting a thumbnail is going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh. Thanks, guys. You did make it weird by stacking on each other, though. Ah, oh, yes. The two-headed Velociraptor. Oh, they're so freaking cute. Excuse the lag, because I screenshotted. Did one of them just two? That looked like a toot, or was that where I was and I, like, sort of ascended? Because it could have been either of those things. I will be utterly honest with you. He's happy. Right, so what is your general thoughts on this enclosure? Because it should be big enough, right? Needs more bushes and trees. Fair enough. You've got enough of a pack coming along. But we do need to get you some bushes and trees. Hearts should have gone up overnight, so we're going to get you some trees now. That will increase your happiness. Don't worry, Parasaurs haven't forgot about you. We do need all of these to make sure that everyone's happy when we eventually remake the park in some way or form. So, they need to be close to water. I've only just remembered that, like an idiot. Build a nice little overhang on one side. And a few coconut trees on leading around to the grass. Oh, great, they're not pushing everything in, which is nice. Insufficient funds. Well then, that's going to be a nightmare till tomorrow. I think that should warrant a price increase, right? Come on. Barely. 550. You know what? It's still something. It's a 10% increase. That's uh, still something. You'd be kind of surprised with the dino pill I've got going on right now. Look, look, dino pill 440, and dino pill will be 220 currently and soon to be 440, taking us to a total of 880. But I guess that's all she wrote for them. I think I'm going to end this video. I'll finish the rest of the night off camera. And then we'll jump in for the next video well, on the next day. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video with a much healthier vertigo, <laughs> make sure you do smash the like button down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our creative vertigo and super duper appreciate it. My name is Vertigo. You can call me V. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day. And ta -ra.